Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this natural colorful seed beads earrings with herringbone stitch. They are easy to make, they are like a beginner's level tutorial and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will know when I make new tutorial usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Thank you so much to all of you that like, share and comment. You help me so much and you make me so happy. Thank you a lot. Uh, you could share your beautiful design that you did on my Facebook page posted below. And you could check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 ounce seed beads or you could use 10 ounce seed beads if you want and these are red orange light orange yellow light green and green and here i'm using earring findings this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use only to go through the difficult beads if needed, they are not obligatory. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I'm going to do first is pick up 12 of these beautiful red beads. Okay, and now I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of this thread. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I do this I go twice with this tail thread through the loop I've made and I pull and this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and it's really secure and now I make one more knot here just to be sure it's all nice and tight and won't disassemble okay so now i go through some beads in this direction and pull in my next step guys what i want to take are orange beads and as i'm exiting here through this red bead i'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following, okay, skip one and go through the following. Okay, I have this. Now I will do the same thing, I take the dark orange color, three beads from it, like this, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. I'm really trying not to cover my work with my thumb because you told me in the past that I was doing this. Okay, so I take three, I skip the one here that's on my way and go like this. Okay guys, now I will do this faster for the next three steps. If it's too fast for you, you could slow down the video or rewind and see the first slow part and repeat it. Okay guys, and pay attention where I go here through the very first seed bit that I've been through in the beginning where when I started my work. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, I will go through these two orange beads. And now I will make something that is called herringbone stitch. It's really easy. If you haven't heard it, don't wor worry. I'm taking two light orange beads and I'm going back in circle 
through the same orange that is sticking out the most and that I'm exiting out of. You see here I have something like a loop. Then I go through one of the orange, light orange beads. I take two more orange beads like this and I go back through this orange. Go back like this, you see, in this direction. Then I go through these two orange beads backwards. I take two orange beads and go like this in this direction and then go back like this in the other direction and now I will come I will take the next color that's coming which is yellow and I take three yellow beads I go back through all of the orange beads in this direction. Then I go through the dark orange bead where I started the whole process from. And I'm going to take five yellow beads. Okay, I have five. And I will go here through this yellow at the top, one of the three yellows at the top. Then I'm going through the other two of those three, pull, because I want everything nice and tight. And I'm going to take five, okay, five. And I go here through this orange. like this. Okay, I have this. My first petal is ready and now I will show you one more time how I'm doing one more of those petals. Okay, I'm going through this and this orange and my goal is to exit out of this orange here. And now I'm going to take two light orange beads and I will do the same thing like I did before. I will make the herringbone. I'm going back in circle like this, making a loop here, going through one of those light orange beads, taking two more, going backwards like this, then one more time through this, backwards like this and I'm going to add the third row of herringbone and you don't need to go uh, in this direction through all of the beads you could go just through the first one like I'm showing here only through the first one and then here like this Okay, then what I need are the three beads that I added at the top that I showed you in my previous step. And this time I will go through all of those beads. Then through this orange one more time. And five yellows. And go here. and here and five five like this and guess what i will start another of these petals but i think you know how to do it already if not rewind the video and repeat this from everywhere and when you're ready meet me here okay see you in a while Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I add my last six beads from this row. Sorry, five beads from this row. Okay, now I have this 
and I have my last petal ready. But before I continue, I want to show you an additional step of reinforcement between the petals. Okay, I'm exiting out of this orange here. Here is my thread, you see, between the yellow and the orange. And then what I do is that I go through these two yellow beads. The first two of this petal. And then what I do is that I go through the same two yellow beads of my other petal. You see where my uh, needle is between those two petals. And I want to attach them together. I want to bind them together with this thread pad that I'm doing. I'm making a loop between them. And you see how now they look connected. And I will do the same thing, guys. I will go again through these two yellows because my goal is to exit between my next two petals. I mean this one and the next. Okay, and now I go through these two beads. Then back in circle through these two. And one more time through these two because I want to connect them. Oops, sorry. Like this. Okay. And I will continue connecting those beads until the end. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys. And here I just connected my last two yellow petals here. You see these two. And now, what I want to do is go through the next yellow. And I'm going to take three dark green beads. Okay, three dark green beads. And I will go in the same place here. One bead away from these beads that I connected. Okay. Then in my next step, I will go back through this yellow, like this, and I will exit through the top of this green bead. Now guys, I will repeat one of those petals, but in green. That is why I'm taking light green, and I will make this herringbone that I did before for my petals. Then three dark beads at the top and five at the at the sides. Okay, and now what was a petal? now is a green leaf okay then what i do in my next step is go in this direction and i want to reach here not at this gap but at this gap Okay, now I'm here at the same place, guys, where I started this leaf here. And I will start it again the same way with three green beads. Then I'm going back in the same place like this. Okay. And then I go back through all of the beads exiting out of the green that is sticking out the most.
And now I will make another green leaf, but it will be smaller than the previous one. And how I make it smaller, I make two rows of herringbone instead of three. And now I take three greens, like I did before. This is how I make the petal smaller, just here. I add two rows and here I add four beads instead of five. Here are four. I go here. Again, go through these three. And then I take four. Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to reposition my thread and go here. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and I repositioned my thread to go here and I'm going to do the same thing. At my first step, I'm taking three. And this time I will make this leaf even smaller. How I do this, I take two, go back, go here. Now I take just one and go back. Okay. Then like this. And now I take three. Go here. Now I go through this green. And this time, guys, I take three dark green beads. Like this. three dark greens like this. Okay. Now guys, I'm going to reposition my thread and go here between the bigger and the middle uh, leaves and I'll be back. Now you see guys where I'm exiting. This is the bead that's sticking out the most and I'm two beads away from it. And I'm going to take two orange beads then I'm going to take one of my earring findings like this. I'm going through it, sliding it down, and then I'm going to more. And what I do is that I go in the same place here, like I'm here, you see three beads away from the one that's sticking out. When I pull and fix it, I have this. Now I'm going to reinforce and make. Okay, and now I'm making my knot by making here a loop. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made 
and I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull and then I go through the following seed beads and I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my earring is ready. Okay guys, now my natural colorful seed beads earrings with herringbone stitch are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.